I'm Kara Morgan. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Coffee with Kara. It's sponsored by the Human Bean in Newport and Lincoln City. And today I am excited to be here at the Newport Chamber office with Maggie and Bobby. And we are talking about everything seafood and everything wine. And so excited to have this incredible event back open again this year. Mm -hmm. So first of all, let's get to know our guests a little bit. Um, well, Bobby, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Sure. I'm Bobby Price. I have been with the Newport Chamber of Commerce and the Seafood and Wine Festival for the past 13 years. And um, just so happy to get this festival back in person. Last couple of years, we've had to make some some transitions and do to-go baskets, for, which were really well received in a virtual event. and. Then last year we had to make a quick pivot right at the end and we presented a tasting trail for the Newport Seafood and Wine Festival, which was, was really popular and successful and a great way to still enjoy the event and keep it marked on the calendar. But we, nothing, nothing beats the festival under the big white tents on the Port of Newport property. So we're just thrilled to be back to that this year. And then I've actually am stepping away from the Newport Seafood and Wine Festival in the chamber and have accepted a position as executive director for the Yahats Chamber of Commerce, which I'm very thrilled and so happy for. But the festival, as I've been doing it for so long now, is very ingrained in me and I care deeply for its success and for, for the whole county. So I'm here with Maggie as she is taking on the role of manager for the Newport Seafood and Wine Festival. And uh, we're working side by side as she learns the ropes. And it's such a relationship built business and event that um, I'm really happy to help uh, pass those on to Maggie this year and make for a seamless transition. Yes, and Bobby's been a huge help. I started working here on Halloween of last year and um, have been putting together the Seafood and Wine Festival with Bobby's help, of course. And I am the marketing and tourism manager here at the Chamber. I've lived in the area for the past 40 years, and I'm a wine drinker, so of course I would be the person that would be in charge of the Seafood and Wine Festival. It's only natural. <laughs> Wonderful. So let's talk a little bit about this year's back in person event. Yes. Yes. It's really exciting. A, we've already talked about that, but B, we have some new things going on this year which will be different from what people will have will have in their mind from 2020. We are going to um, what we're calling an open floor concept tent. I really love HGTV, so that's my buzzword. Is <laughs> <laughs> open floor concept tent. Yeah, so. it'll be nice because you'll feel like you didn't miss a booth because you won't have to go from tent to tent. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. while people might think it's smaller, it's really not It because it's what... One tent doesn't mean it's smaller. We have extended the length of the tent, and we are able to get as many visitors in as we have in the two tents. We did go down a little bit in our booth um, numbers, but I think that that will only be beneficial for the vendors and for the attendees. It will be easier to find that that uh, piece of art that you thought you might want to get, but you'll actually know where to go back to get it. Right. Yeah. So Maggie, let's talk about what folks can expect to see. Um, let's start off uh, with the wineries. Yes, we have um, many wineries that are joining us, about 40 wineries. Um, we just had our wine competition last weekend and we saw a lot. Um, a lot of the, the smaller wineries participate in our event. Yeah, we had 150 entries. Yeah, it was very nice. Mm -hmm. um, so to name a few, we have what Namaste, and we have um, Jay Scott and Willamette Valley Vineyards Willamette and um, Valley View Vineyards. Yeah. Valley View Vineyards. I'd like to comment on that really quick, as they are the one winery that has been at the festival for the full forty-six years, even in our 
in our off years, they still participated. So they um, are a generational family winery, and the sons are, are doing it now, and they're here, and they've been to every single Well, and I heard the that the festival started in the armory, so they must mm -hmm. have been there in the armory with yep. us. That's very yep. cool. We have Parrot Mountain Cellars, Bluebird Hill Cellars, right. uh, Catman Cellars, so many great ones, and brand new ones, too, brand new boutique wineries that are very small and just really getting their foot in the wine world in Oregon so it's a great way to do that and getting some awards and recognition early on in their in their career is a great way to to hit the ground running for them and boost their sales right and would you can look on our website tomorrow we should have that up as to who won gold silver bronze or and it's up right now is it up right now oh good <laughs> oh nice okay I just did that right before <laughs> <laughs> and who was best to show our best of show was, um, or is, Bellinger Estates out of Newburgh. They're, it's actually their first year in the festival, which yeah, is a really exciting, exciting thing. And so they, are, they won with the 2019 Pinot Noir. Very nice. Awesome. And let's talk a little bit about the seafood, but it's not just seafood. There's other stuff, too, for folks to enjoy. There yeah. are. Yeah. yeah, so if you're not a seafood or a wine lover, there's rogue ales, and there's shopping, there's crafts, there's candy, there's there's all sorts of, like, dips and things Hand you can buy. Hand-dipped corn dogs. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. But <laughs> the seafood <laughs> is really what it's going to be about. fabulous. Yes, we do have Clearwater there doing seafood, um, local ocean, um, and Pacific, Pacific crab. crab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, um, and then we have several other booths that are not as like specific seafood but they will all be serving seafood items like we've got um canby asparagus that's been there forever mm -hmm. and they have got like grilled shrimp or like shrimp tacos and you know just it's or crab you know mixed into different things and so they've got um like more um kind of mexican type food but it's all got you know seafood options well and we also have two new barbecues that are mm -hmm. going to be there this year um smoke and ginger and a patty mac mm -hmm. and they will also offer seafood and options. they do have seafood options yeah but that'll be mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. and then we have um, the mediterranean also oh the, we do yes. yeah yeah and that will they'll have a variety of seafood items and non-seafood items as well. And I understand you're going to have a stage. Yes. Let's talk about what's on deck for yes. the stage. So we do have a center stage in the middle of our open concept tent. <laughs> 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 and um, that is going to be set on Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. We will re be removing it on Saturday just due to the, the nature of the crowded tents. And on the stage, uh, both for Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, we have some acoustic music slated with local Paul. Um, his last name, I, I'm not even going to try to say because I don't want to butcher it. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll just call him Paul. Paul. Yeah. He's local and he's great. <laughs> and Y'all know Paul. You yeah, know he's Peter Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he uh, will be set on the stage um, each of the days and he's going to play um, acoustic sets, 90 minute acoustic sets. And that music will be. Um, distributed throughout the whole tent so um, there will be computing musics um, going from the DJ and the, the music that's playing on the stage that just will be the music that's in the tent for that time and then when he's not on stage we will have local ocean seafoods talking about some of their dock box experiences we have a handful of wineries also talking about their wine making process doing a tasting um, we have another winery talking about um, sparkling wines and yeah, so each day there's a little something different, and uh, we have somebody on stage each hour throughout the event. And Bobby, let's share with our audience a little bit of background about seafood and wine yeah. and the importance of bringing folks to the coast during this time of year. Absolutely. Well, 46 years ago, the Newport Chamber of Commerce and their board of directors created this event, and it was specifically created to draw, be an economic booster to the economy and all of the businesses in the slowest time. It's traditionally the slowest time of the year, February, and it has provided that 
economic boost and been a really great driver for business to for all of our community's businesses, the hotels, the restaurants, the grocery stores, the gas stations, the shops. It's a benefit for everybody. When Not we, just in Newport, though. No, right? no, the whole county uh, really, really benefits from it. And, uh, you know, up and down from Yahats up to Lincoln City, the uh, vacation rentals and hotels are booked with people utilizing those for the Newport Seafood Wine Festival. So it's a really big deal for the whole entire county and its economic vitality. That's amazing. Um, and let's talk about volunteers. Are you in need of volunteers? Yes. Are you working with volunteer organizations? <laughs> we are. Yeah, we are doing pretty well with volunteers, but we do need more volunteers still for a few shifts. Um, and they can sign up on our website, seafoodandwine.com. And um, we, yeah, we are working with volu- um, nonprofit organizations too to fill a, quite a few um, needed areas. We're going green this year for the festival. It's another little change. So we're working with Thompson Sanitary, Rotary, Club of Newport, and Habitat of Humanity to be our green team. And they will have waste stations set up with clear signs marking those. And the members of the green team will help um, valet waste into the proper waste receptacles. And um, we'll do compost, recycle, and uh, landfill waste. And then they will help make sure that all gets into the proper receptacles out in our back of the house area, too. And then um, at the end, we will be able to weigh our compost, our recycle, and our waste um, 2023 versus 2020 when we didn't do any separation. So uh, it'll be really interesting to see um, how we were able to be a little bit more um, conscious in that way. Yes, great. Mm -hmm. And then also, Kira, when they volunteer for a shift, they're able to get into the festival for free for the entire weekend. So we do give back to our volunteers also. Yes, and they get a wine glass. And they get a wine glass. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and backdoor entry. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, you don't have to wait in line. (laughs) Yeah, so if you're interested in volunteering, please please sign up um, on our website. And also, tickets are for sale, too. We're doing really great on ticket sales, but we have lots more to sell, and um, we really hope that the community supports the event this year and will be out and um, supporting the Seafood Wine Festival through turn. That's fantastic. And you also have um, the shuttle vans going this year, and you encourage folks, please, please don't drink and drive. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. We provide free shuttle services that are going from the all main areas of Newport and the hotels that are running on continuous loops throughout the weekend. You can um, ride into the festival and you can ride out of the festival on one of those shuttle buses. There is zero need to drink and drive, so please be safe. We, 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 we pay for this so that it helps you guys stay safe and enjoy and have fun and not have to worry about that. Well, and the, of course, you know, the, the mm-hmm. Newport Police State Police Sheriff's Office, everybody's going to be involved with helping to keep everybody safe. Absolutely. Right? Yes. Absolutely. We are all on the same page with the fire department and everything. We've got, had so many security meetings leading up to this that we, we are, you know, taking safety as, as the number one concern. Um, well, second to people having fun. <laughs> <laughs> We also have the the Lincoln County Sheriff's Posse and Lincoln County Search and Rescue that are also really um, integral parts in supporting the event. Is there anything else, um, Maggie or Bobby, that either of you would like to add as we're wrapping up? Hmm. I think that Bobby has done a good job of explaining everything. (laughs) Buy your tickets. And the dates are February 23rd through the 26th. On Thursday, we're open from 5 to 9. On Friday, we're open from noon to 6. Oh, 8. I'm sorry. Noon to 8. And on Saturday, from 10 to 6. And Sunday, from 10 to 4. And Sunday's been traditionally a locals' day because it's a little bit slower, a little bit quieter. And um, it's a fun day to come down to the festival. Yeah, and we do sell Ruby VIP tickets also mm-hmm. that um, are a great way to get into the festival all four days. It comes with a commemorative wine glass and access to our VIP hospitality suite that we have. Um, not all, So in the past and also this year, for our VIPs and our sponsors, Chinook Wins Casino will be hosting a Thursday night party to say thank you to everybody and um, that will be open to our ticket purchasers of the Ruby Ticket Club 
And then um, they will also have access all weekend long to the hospitality suite, and they have their own black tie VIP potty. Yes. <laughs> and there will be free um, wine tasting and snacks. snacks provided by Grocery Outlet of Newport. Yep. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. This just sounds like more and more fun as you guys keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us on um, this episode of Coffee with Kira, again, sponsored by mm -hmm. The Human Being in Newport at 6th Street and Highway 101 and in Lincoln City at the north end of the highway on the west side near TLC Credit Union. Thank you again for joining me for Oregon Coast Breaking News. I'm Kira Morgan.